I pray one fit dust out of gopis. From their mouth, if Harikatha comes, it can purify whole world, whole world. And thus, anyhow, he feared that if gopis must be loved, and their separation would be so. So if I will be here, then I will have to oh, tolerate these things. He went. He could not be a, even a grass of blade. He prayed only. And then he went to Krishna and told all these things. After that, Krishna went to the house of Kubja and accrued. Kubja has been accepted by Rupa Goswami, Sadharani, Rati, huh? Rati. Rati mm. in Kubja. Because she has only love and affection in Krishna, no other one. But, oh, with lust. So lust everything spoils. But even she is sadhari. <coughs> Tvarkarpuri, Rukmani, Saptabhama. They are Samanjasa. Samanjasa. And Gopi are Samanjasa. Asamanjasa. Highest. Then he went to Akru. Then Kubja <coughs> did very honor and archan of Krishna. Then from there up, he went to Akru and then Jarasandha attacked him. His two daughters, Asti and Prapti. 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 They complained that your son was, uh, your son-in-law was sitting quite calm and quiet. And this wicked Krishna jumped up and jumped on his and he died. And then he became very, very angry that my now sister daughters are widow. Then he attacked with about twenty-one Akshaunhin Sena, more than Pandav and Kaurav even. Not only one time, sixteen times he attacked. But Baldev used to catch him by his plow and then wanted to kill, but Krishna told, Oh, don't kill. He should go and again bring so many <laughs> his followers and I will, we will kill. In this way the burden of earth will go away. Then when he attacked Seventeenth time, at the same very time, Kaul Javan came. And Krishna and Baldev, without any, they began to run. And they went in, in Krishna went in the cave, and there that Kaul Javan was killed by the sight of that Muchakunda Prabhu. And then, by his Vishwakarma, he created Dwarka in the midst of ocean and sent all his <coughs> Mathura Basi in one night, in a one second there. And when they woke up, oh, where we are? How beautiful, more than Mathura, everything. And then, Baldev marriage with Revati and Baruni afterward. Revati was from Satyu, very tall of Baldev in the last stage of Dwapa, so he was. Uh, so, how to be married? But really, has, Revati has promised that I will marry with only Baldev, nothing. Then Krishna, uh, Baldev Prabhu took his plow and, oh, <laughs> and at once 
He became small and then very small. And Krishna then married Murukmini, Sattabhama, and other eight prominent queens, Rajkumari. Perhaps you have read all these things. Then Bhaumasur birth, and then one thousand, no, solar thousand, one hundred. <coughs> oh, princess were there in the prison of Bhaumasur. Krishna opened the prison and told, from where you are, you should tell, I will send you all to your fathers. Then they told, we cannot return. We want to be your maid servant of your wives. We will bring, we will do all other services. But we cannot go to our fathers and mothers. Then Krishna took them to Dwarka and married all. So Krishna had 16,108 and then after that his son Pradyumna and his son Anirudha. Oh, so many dynasty was from each wife nine sons, ten sons and one daughter. He engaged one lakhs tutor for their sons and do, do, everyone. How much? One million. More than one lakh. So you can imagine that how many children were there. <coughs> then he, Banashu, he has thousands of arms. And with him, Krishna fall, and Shankar Parvati went to save him, their most beloved disciple, son, like son. Then Krishna anyhow <coughs> cut his all arms, kept only four. And he told that Shankar has saved you and other things. Nriga and then Baldevka Prabhu came to Braja to pacify Gopis and he did ras with all Gopis only to pacify that they are feeling so much separation so I said go come what? Pacify them. <coughs> then Pandrika and Vasudev. Pandrika has two arms, but he added wooden two <laughs> arms and told, Krishna, you are not Vasudev, I am Vasudev. <laughs> and if you will uh, say that I am Vasudev, then you should come and fight us. Krishna cut his arms and uh, his, also his, his friend Kasi. And he burned Kasi and Shankar fly away from there, run away from there. Anyhow he went to first to Naudip Dham, Harihatshetra and from there he went to Bhuvaneswar. And then <coughs> you know Dvivi was very very much strong. He fought with Raman by the side of Ramchandra. But he used to criticize Lakshman. And after that, he began to criticize Baldev Prabhu. Then Baldev Prabhu took his and with Musal he killed him. <coughs> then Narudrishi saw Krishna in 16,108 wives rooms, somewhere marriage, some he became donation with his wife, 
somewhere with children, sometimes in so many ways. And then he began to pray Krishna, that how your Aswar is. Then, oh, he went to Indraprastha with Panda and he told that you should do Ashwamedha Yajna. And for this, he took Arjun and Bhim and went to Jarasandha in the form of Brahmins. And went to Jarasandha and told, we are Brahmins. Uh, we have come to beg something, so please give. Then he saw they are really not Brahmins. There is something, sign, sign, sign of oh, Dhanus and Barn. Oh, then he began to love. Who are you? <coughs> Krishna told that myself, Krishna. He is him, he is us. What you want? I can give my life also. Then Krishna told, we want that you should fight us. Oh, then he began to laugh very loudly. Ho, 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 ho. <laughs> and then, who will fight me, with me? Krishna, any of three you can fight. Oh, I cannot fight with Arjun because he is half wife and uh, lady and oh, I can. And with you, you have played away from battle seventeen times, so you are very coward. I will not fight you. Only if he, oh, with him I can fight. I will consider, he is not qualified with me. And then, he took one club and gave one club to him and they began to fight. Day fighting in night like friends. So how many days? So many days. I don't remember. Or twenty-eight days. Both were him was very much strong. strong, but he used to know the skills. So last day Krishna took a straw and did like that. Then he knew and at once he took his bow. He took his both legs and so, and then he took his one leg from his leg and one with arms and like a straw he did him into two and he was finished. Very interesting. <laughs> and then Sispal but Sispal was Actually, Jaya Vijay, Sishpal Dantabhakra, then Salva, Dantabhakra, and then Balde Prabhu killed Shut Goswami. When he came, Nyamisha Aranya, oh, 88,000 of Rishis were hearing, and this Shut Goswami was. Reading, not reading, but telling the Mahabharat and other things, Puran. Oh, he could not stand up and had no respect, respect for Baladev. Baladev at once told, Oh, these rishis are more than you. They are very learned and they know past, future and present. And they have a stand up and you know, don't know that I am Jagat Guru. No respect. So, a person like you cannot explain Srimad Bhagavat and Puran. And thus, by hand he 
got off his way. Then all began to weep. Oh, what you did? From where now we will hear? Then don't be worry. If you want, I will again give him life and he will come and say, No, no, we don't want. Then Baldev Prabhu, there was a boy of Sutta Goswami, Ugra Shavasu. He was a boy and then he what inspired him that he can speak whole Ved, Puran, Upashrishad, Mahabharata and everything. And that very Ugrasu oh, he was in this assembly of Parikshit Maharaj and Sukhdev Vasasthani. Then, <coughs> you know Sudama Vipra, when Krishna Baldev were in Sandipni Muni Ashram, he was there. Oh, now he came to Dwarka by the request of his wife. Sudama Vipra and his wife, in young age they became old. They never wanted any food or anything. What easily used to come only by that. So her, his wife requested him to go. He did not want to go there, but he told that, oh, I should go because I will see this, the Lord of Lord, Krishna. And thus I will return back. I will not ask there, I am going back now. But give me something that I can give him donation. Then from other houses he collected something, piece of broken rice and wrapped in a cloth and he went there. And seeing him, Krishna was in Rukmini house on the bed of Rukmini. At once got up and ran away and he embraced Sudama Vipra. And they brought him and gave place on the court, uh, court of Rukmini and began to wash his hands. Rukmini, Sattvama, all began to and thinking, who is he? Who is he? That Krishna himself is serving him. After that, Krishna, Sudama also has doubt that whether he has the criminality or no. Perhaps he thinking another. Then Krishna told that night when they went to forest and collected sticks and Gurudev then came and told all, all Upanishad bathe, everything should come in your heart. And then Krishna went to Kurukshetra and after Kurukshetra, in, in a Kurukshetra, he met with Gop and Gopi, tried to pacify, but Gopi were not satisfied. They wanted to bring Krishna in Vrindavan. That is just festival. <coughs> this very interesting. I have not discussed. In future I may discuss about this. <coughs> Once Narada Rishi came in the palace of Vasudeva Maharaj. When he came, he was doing jagya, sacrifice. He told Brahmins and all other Rithik, oh, stop jagya. The fruit of the jagya has come. <coughs> These sadhus. Now I want to ask from him, and he asked that I have in my past life, I have taken broom from Lord Krishna himself. I want a putra like you, son like you, not for liberation from the world, so please tell me how can I be liberated? 
And then Devasinath began to tell no joke in the Shambhad. That Maharaj Janak once in his palace, nine no Jogendra. You know Jogendra? The son of Brishab. Nine. They were like Sanak Sananta. They used all, they knew all the thoughts, Siddhant and everything. Mercifully they went there. And then Nadi is telling that, oh, Nemi Maharaj told them, I want to know Bhagavad Dharma. What is Bhagavad Dharma? By that, following, practicing, very soon, without any effort, mukti from this world, what? liberation from words comes, and Krishna Prem comes. How? And then, first, no Jogindra, Kabi began to speak. Kabi. What was the question? What was the answer? Only one Rishi. <coughs> Om Jnati Mirandasva Yan Janasalakaya Jasarun Militam Ye Tasmai Siguravi Nama Guravi Gaura Chandra Yaradhika Yaitadale Krishna Ya Krishna Vatta Ya Tadvatta Ya Namu Nama First of all, I offer my thousands, thousands of senses, Lord Aspita, Srila Guru Padma, all sannyasis and all Vaishnavas, mothers and sisters, please accept my Tandavat Pranas. <laughs> begin from Govinda Puri Bhutpaya. Sir <coughs> Guruji spoke about essence of Srimad Bhagavatam, 10th canto. After then, starting 11th canto, when Sri Sukhdev Goswami spoke Sri Krishna's Leela Katha, then how is possible, how can find how can take Sri Krishna's lotus feet and pure love and affections? What is their process? Then Sri Suddeva Goswami again start 11th canto. So everyone can follow this process. Then everyone will be happy. This is called Sanatana religion, best religion. So their process. What is the Sanatana religion? How they did, how they did, uh, do uh, worship to Lord Sri Krishna, what is their qualities? And what is Maya ignorance? So we are falling in ignorance, in Maya. How is possible, how can get, how can we free from Maya? And what is our process, life after life and time to time? Sattva, Trita, Dhapar, Kali, so many yugas coming. What is the sadhana process? So everything is explaining in Srimad Bhagavatam, 11th canto. There are two things. One, Nivinava Jagannath Sangvad, other Krishna Uddhav Sangvad. Nivinava Jagannath Sangvad, when Sri Narodra Sri lived in Dwarka Puri, Govinda Bhuja Gupta Ayam Dharavatyam Kurudvah, Avadsedha Narada Bhikshna Krishna Upasana Lalasa. Sri Narada Sri wants to worship Sri Krishna. 
Always he is moving. Because previous time Dasya Prajapati gave curse to him, you could not stay anywhere long time. Only very short time. So he loved and he worked everywhere. And he gave instructions to anyone. But this time he wants to live in Dwarka Puri. Govinda Bhuja Gupta Ayam Dharavatyam Guru Dvasa. In Dwarka Puri, Supreme Lord Sri Krishna is living. They are always protecting all Jadu dynasty, everyone. There is no cause, no any kind, any problems not coming there. Even cause of the standard. So, Narad Rishi, he lived long time in Dwarka Puri. There is no any problems. One day, Govinda Bhuja Gupta I am, because Govinda, Lord Sri Krishna, always protecting in Dwarka Puri. So, there, one day Narad Rishi, when he came near Vasudev Maharaj, then Vasudev gave full respect, full respect and worship him. When Narada Rishi sit in Asana, then Vasudev Maharaj told to Narada Rishi, Oh my dear Brahma, whole life passed in my family life. I never served to Vishnu, never worshipped to Vishnu, and I don't know. So whole life passed. So how can do? How will we free from Maya ignorance? That time Narada Rishi laughed. Whose son is Supreme Lord Sri Krishna? Whose wife is Devaki Devi? Who took, um, uh, took Sri Krishna in her book? And he is thinking, oh, I am falling in Maya. Have their Maya? Ignorance? Nothing. But he is asking. Then Narada Rishi told, okay. So you remind me, Sri Krishna's beautiful katha, Tattva Darshan. Okay, I am speaking. I, I want to speak one Sunbar. Previous life, previous time. Nimi Maharaj was a great king. He did fire sacrifice long, long time. One day his fire sacrifice assembly, Navajandra Rishi came, who were sons of Rishabdi. They are great Rishi. So nine rishis, they are like one one sun god, and everywhere moving, they have no any problems. So mountain, hills, ocean, everywhere they cross there, and they are coming. So kavi, havi, antariksha, pippalayan, pravudha, avir, hotra, drumil, jamas, karvhaja, nine rishis. They are great Mahabhagavat rishis. When they came in his assembly, Ata Atantikam Ata Atantikam Chemam Prichamo Bhavato Anagha Samsharias Vin Chanardia then please give answers. So, I don't know to ask you, so I, I want to listen. Ato atantikam jhema, atantik kalyan, top most auspicious things, best religion. What is the Sanatan religion? So I want to listen. Please tell me. Then, Durlabhu, Manusho deho dehi naam chana bhangra tatra api durla bhammanne vaikuntha priya darsanam. So in this world, very rare this human life, very hard. If someone coming in human life, but not possible to getting sadhu associations. In human's life, their life, sadhus come in and give him darshan, then this is the most <coughs> highest thing. So, I, ask, I am asking you, please tell me. Then, Kavirishi spoke these things. Manne krutas che 
Will be fearless when they are following to see Krishna. Mandi Kutasid Bhayam Achutasa Achut Bhagavan Sri Krishna Supreme Lord Sri Krishna. If anyone who has saved to his Lord has paid and taken shelter and serving him, then nothing, anything, no any problems, no family life, and no material desires, no sense gratifications, nothing. Everything will be clear and pure. Udvigna buddhira asadatma bhavat. Anyone living, sense enjoying mood all the time, trembling mood, and asadatma bhavat anit. Everything going, no still face. So, house, money, land, and relative, everyone they are going. But all is, we have absorbed more to them. Oh, all are mine, my, my house, my wife, my children, my gold, my land, my things. All are mine. My body, I am this body, all are mine. This is called family situations. Ignorance. All ignorance will be finished when worship to Sri Krishna. This is the best way. If anyone going, and following this Sanatana religion, a blind, closed eyes and running away, never falling. And if sometimes sleeping, not sleeping, sleeping, sleeping. so no any problems. Salpam asya dharma sa trayate mahato If anyone following, also little, very small, little Sanatana Dharma. If someone accepting, oh, this religion is best religion, very good things. Oh, I accept this. If helping, if sadhu is there, serve him, Lord Sri Krishna. If anyone serve him to sadhu, give him some donations to sadhu, then everyone life will be happy. And all igno ignorance, all blindness, everything will be finished. This is the best way. Bhayam dityat abhi nivesatasyat ishad api tasya vipare jayo smriti tan maya to budha avhaye tvam bhaktai kaisam guru devatatma. Before, Sri Kavirishi told, if anyone Kaila Bacha Manasir Indriya Iriva Body, Mind, Senses, Heart, Knowledge, everything and in his work all things of heart to Sri Krishna. Oh Sri Krishna, you are mine. I am your one person. Please accept me. In this way, his life, his energy, everything of heart to Sri Krishna. So Narada Sri also be first spoke to Basti. If anyone living in family life, all things of heart to Sri Krishna, only his mood to Sri Krishna. They have no family situations, no blindness, nothing. And anyone uh, living in sense, enjoying mood, then they are going hell. So Kaila Vacha Manasairindriva. Buddhatmana Banu Sutta Savava. Everything they are natures. So they are doing different, different work. But all things they have had to Sri Krishna. Whole life for Sri Krishna. Whole energy for Sri Krishna. Then their life is successful life. So there is no any problems. Karoti Jadijat Sakalam Parasmai. Narayana iti samarupayitva. All things of heart to Narayana, of heart to Sri Krishna, 
then they are living successful lives. Bhayam dityad abhi nive satasyad. When we have desire to material life, material sense enjoying life, so we want to be happy by the material things. So at that time, we are falling in ignorance. Then we are afraid. We are afraid for myself. My body is never will be lost, never die. My relative, sons, children, and wife, and any others, husband, so everyone, they will be still fixed, and all the time they are living with me. They never left me, and money always will be fixed in this way, but always going, nothing, not fixing. So, bhayam dityad abhinive satasyad. When we have absorbed mood in family situation, sense enjoying mood, that time fear coming. We have it. When we forget to see Krishna, that time we are falling in ignorance, in maya. Then I can't understand what can I do? What is my necessity? What is my duty? Then we forget all things. So ordinary life. So we are going to school and study some, something study there. Then we learn, then we are making job, business, any kinds and making money, taking sense, enjoy, this is our life. Kim karta bimura. Then we forget all things. Where will you go? Where will be happiness? Where I'll, I live? So any kind of problems coming. Then maya to buddha object from all our ignorance. See, Kavirishi spoke, eat intelligent man, then you must follow to Gurudev. Buddha, buddhiman purus, intelligent man, avhijit tvam bhaktai kaisam Gurudev tatma, ekaya isam bhajit ekaya bhaktya, only one word, pure bhakti, must follow the pure bhakti, and this bhakti you can start to worship to Sri Krishna, and serve to Guru Padpatma. We never seen Supreme Lord Sri Krishna. How is beautiful and how is we never seen. But we see Gurudev. So Gurudev is our heart, our soul, our life. Every everyone, anyone can serve to Gurudev. He is our Devata. He is present here. So Sri Krishna said to Gurudev. So they are coming, more, more kindness, very great, merciful. When Sri Krishna came, he killed so many demons, gave liberations. But anyone, they not become devotees, and they cannot serve to Sri Krishna. Sri Krishna killed them. But Gurudev, more, more kindness, merciful. So give him more kindness. Anyone, mind, heart, body, everything changed their life and they are serving to Sri Krishna. So Gurudev is. Our heart, our devata, our soul, everything. So in Srimad Bhagavatam, so these things serve to Gurudev. Tate Krishna Bhaje Kare Sri Chaitanya Mahaprabhu spoke these things. Brahmanda Brahmite Guru Bhagavanji, Guru Krishna Prasad Pai, Bhakti Lata Vij, Tate Krishna Bhaja Kare, Guru Seva, Mayajal Chute Pai, Sri Krishna Charan, Vasip to Sri Krishna Sarvim Guru Dev. Then will be pure. Otherwise, no purity. So, dear, all things. In this world, so we see everything, ignorance. Always we are thinking mindly and seeing dream. So many dreams in our life, we are thinking so many things. So now we have some money and next day will be more money and then will be, I am, will be king and president. So many things we are thinking. But when dream finish, 
Then nothing. Oh, you are sleeping on the bed. <laughs> so in this way, so we are thinking so many dreams in our life, but nothing also false, false things. Then anyone must follow these things. See, Kabir is his book and Suddev Goswami spoke these things. Srinam Subhadra Janmani karmani chajani loke Gitani namani tadarthakani Gayan bilajyo bichare dasanga How can lead? How can do? They are process everything, spoke these things. Srinar Subhatrani Rathanyopani Hearing Krishna Gatha Rathanyopani He is not taking now Sudarshan's wheels but he took chariot wheels and he went to he wants to kill Bhishma Pitabha but he does not want only showing to effect oh you were throwing me arrows. So at that time he took Sudarshan, yeah, chariot wheels and he's broken his promise and he saved his devotee's promise. Bhishma Gita told, if I am showing and I defeated you and you, you were taking weapons, then I am son of Ganga Putra, Santana, Sansa of Santana Mara. So then, Bhishma Pitamo fighting, fighting so much that once Sri Krishna took Charya and he, and he broke on his promise and he said to him, and he runs away. So Sri Nana Subhadrani, all he is giving respect to devotees. He is Supreme Lord Sri Krishna. Very kindness, very merciful. So he is past times Lila. Very beautiful Lila. Sri Nara Subhadrani Rathanga Pane Janmani Karmani Cha his birth. How he took birth and how he did Lila, past, past times Lila. Everything chanting, hearing and speaking and remind others and remember to Sri Krishna's Leela. In this way, Janmani cha karmani cha gitani namani cha dartha kani tadartha Krishna Govinda Murari Mukunda Madhusudan Madan Mohan Govinda Damodar Gopinath Padma so many names and there have so many Leelas. So in this way, can remember, can meditate his sweetness Leela chanting his name and speaking and hearing, meditating in this way, Gayana Bilajyo Bicharita Sangha singing and Bilajyo let all shyness, all pride, no need pride, no need jealousy, no need shyness, so everything let. And Gayana Bilajyo Bicharita Sangha, no need material, Bishai mood, their associations, no need their associations. Where is living with sadhu and serve him to sadhu, Guru Pad Padma and following this bhakti yoga. Then very quickly, evam brata sapriya nama kirtya. This is our life, this is our bhav, this is our sankalpa. In my life we are chanting Sri Krishna's name and meditating to his sweetness lila. In this way, evam brata sapriya nama kirtya jatanu rago druta chitta ucchai then attachment mood coming, very deep mood, weeping, falling tears, shaking body, trembling body. That time, so always meditating Sri Krishna, pure mood, pure heart, no any problems. In this way, druta chitta ucchai Gayati, Rauti, Rodati, 
sometimes singing, sometimes weeping, sometimes calling to Sri Krishna. In this way, Loka Bhaiji left all family desires, all desires, only one mood to Sri Krishna. In this way, this is pure bhakti and pure life. Everyone must follow these things. Then everyone's lives will be happy. Then slowly, slowly more progress bhakti, bhakti manifesting in our heart. And other way, renunciations and so experience come, more and more experience, more and more they are feeling Sri Krishna's sweetness, Leela. In this way, bhakti more will be progress. Other side, other way, Ittya Chutangri Bhajato Nubritya Bhattir Viraktir Bhagavat Prabodha Bhavanti Vai Bhagavata Sarajan Tatah Param Santi Mupaiti Sasat Then Para Santi everyone will be peace, everyone will be happy in this way following to Bhajan Sadhan Bhakti Yoga and serving to Sri Krishna, worshiping Sri Krishna, serving Guru Padma. This is our process. So, we see that Maharaj Janak asked what is Bhagavad Dharma and then he told that he explained the process of bhakti is that First go to non different son Krishna Guru Pad Padma. Serve him. And with Pranipa, Dandav Prana, you should ask. Then he will teach you all these things. <coughs> Especially now we have forgotten Krishna. And for this, we are thinking that this body am and all other relatives are mine. And for them, oh, so much fear comes. So the process is that first go to Guru and then learn how to please Krishna and then you can go. So he is telling also <coughs> that <coughs> A person who will hear, who will hear all these things, Bhakti Paresha Anubhav, Pirakti Anyat Chais Preke Kala, Padpad Damanasya, Yathasnata Sutushti Pushti Khudupaya. If anyone is serving Krishna, doing Bhakti, Shravanam, Kirtan, Vishnu, Shmarnam and all these things, taking shelter in the lotus feet of his Gurudev, then three things automatically come. Bhakti, Parishanubhav, realization of Supreme Lord, and detachment from worldly desires. Must come. If you are hearing and practicing Bhakti Yoga, but three things are not coming. No realization of Supreme Lord. No virakti from this world. No detachment coming. Huh? Then what is that? There is some loop holes. I think these loop holes are in all. all. Try to repair. Try to repair. Anyone who is serving Krishna, practicing Nodha Bhakti or Panchada Bhakti or Vandi Harinam, then three things are bound to come. All Tattva Gyan will come and surely detachment from worldly things and desires must come. Krishna is very powerful, but not coming then we should tell five on me, five no. So he told the what Kabi has told in brief. Now 
अगेन महाराज जनक ऑस्ट ओ आई वॉन्ट टू नो दैट ए मैन हु इज प्रैक्टिसिंग भक्ति जो हाउ ही इज आचर बिहेवियर टू अदर्स एंड बाई वॉट सिम्टम वी कैन नो दैट ही इज रियली ए भक्त प्लीज टेल मी एंड देन हरि यू बाच हरि यू ट्राई टू हियर ऑल दीज थिंग्स आई हेव नेवर स्पोक अबाउट दिस एक्सप्लेन ऑल दिस आई वॉन्ट टू नो आई वॉन्ट टू वॉट टू एक्सप्लेन यू ऑल दैट एलेवन कैंटो very very important this and after that uddhav sambad will come then you will have surely qualification to enter in dasam skand how a man can reach in 10th kanto oh this is the door way of all this ज्ञानतिरंदस्कनशलाकय चक्षुरुन्मील जीना तस्म श्रीगुरव नम फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल आई एम ऑफरिंग माइ दंडवत प्रणाम्स टू द लोटस फीड ऑफ माई बलवट गुरुदेव नित्य लीला प्रविष्ट ओम विष्णुपाद अस्तो थर सत श्री श्रीमद इसी भक्ति वेदांत स्वामी महाराज प्रभुपाद And secondly, I'm offering my equal dandavat pranams and my shraddha pushpanjali to the lotus feet of my beloved Guru Dev, Nityalila Pravishtom Vishnu Pad Asto Tarasata Shri Shila Bhakti Rakshak Shri Dhar Goswami Maharaj, and Om Vishnu Pad Asto Tarasata Shri Shila Bhakti Vedanta Narayan Goswami Maharaj, and also to the lotus feet of all my uh, beloved God brothers and God sisters. all the vaishnavas and vaishnavis friends and guests who have come to this most auspicious bhagavat katha assembly so shila gurudev is now revealing the importance of the 11th canto of shrimad bhagavatam to us as he told he has given us so much understanding of the pastimes of krishna in 10th canto but without understanding the 11th canto and the teachings that are here it will not be possible to fully enter into the pastimes of krishna because here the actual activities of pure bhagavat dharma are explained and how a devotee should execute his spiritual life what are the necessary qualifications what is the behavior of a vaishnava how does he live how does he perform his devotional practices how does he become detached from this uh, gross materialistic illusory happiness of this world and take shelter of the eternal happiness of service to the lotus feet of krishna so in this conversation given in 11th canto these navayogendras these nine uh, very great sages are answering the questions of maharaj nimi and these questions are very relevant for all who want to enter into bhagavat dharma so if we study this conversation very minutely then we can gain so much from it now maharaj nimi is asking the question to these nine yogendras and so far uh, Kavi Rishi he has answered now Havi Rishi will begin to answer the second question second group of questions that Maharaj Nimi is asking so he is asking now please tell me in greater detail about the devotees of the supreme lord what are the natural symptoms by which i can distinguish between the most advanced devotees and those that are on the middle level and those who are neophyte beginning level 
What are the typical religious activities of a Vaishnava? And how does he speak? And specifically, please describe those symptoms and characteristics by which the Vaishnavas become dear to the Supreme Personality of Godhead. So now in the beginning of his answer, Sri Havi Rishi, he begins to explain the definition of the three different categories of Vaishnavas, beginning with topmost, Mahabhagavat Vaishnava. This Mahabhagavat Vaishnava has a very specific symptom by which he can be recognized. And that is, Sarvabhuteshu yak pasyed, Bhagavat bhavam atmanaha, Bhutani Bhagavat yatman yesha Bhagavat uttama. Bhagavat uttama means topmost amongst all the Bhagavats, all the devotees of the Lord. So here he's saying, Sarva Bhuteshu Yak Pashyad. What is the vision of a Mahabhagavat Vaishnava? He sees Bhagavat Bhavam Atmanaha. What is there in his heart? What is his own transcendental moods of divine praying, loving devotion to the Supreme Lord? Wherever he looks, he also sees that in all living beings. Uh, he, when he looks here or there at the animate and inanimate objects of this world, he sees his Supreme Lord, his worshipable deity everywhere by dint of his own moods, his own divine praying. Just like the highest example of the Braja Gopis. In the Srimad Bhagavatam 10th Canto, the Braja Gopis, they are glorifying the Venugit, the flute song of Krishna. They are telling there how much they see all the different living beings in Vrindavan who are so much attracted to the sound of Krishna's flute. Even the inanimate objects like the rivers, like the clouds, and all the uh, forest animals like the deer, like the birds in the trees. They are seeing all of those living beings having the same mood of deep attraction to Krishna that they have. The same moods of anurag that they have in their hearts. They see that in the other living beings. This is the symptom of a Mahabhagavat. He does not only see the external bodies, but he sees within every living being the eternal soul who is part and parcel of Krishna. And he also sees that all the living beings are situated in their eternal service to Krishna. One thing more. <laughs> Gopis are not Uttam Mahabhagavat. You should not give this example. But you should give an example of Maharaj, uh, Prahlad Maharaj. Yeah. Yeah, what's your Uttam Bhagavad? Ah, he is Uttam Bhagavad. But gopis are not. They are worshipable of Uttam, Uttam, Maha, Uttam, Maha, Uttam. <laughs> so we can give these examples. But the charyas are giving in the first place. I don't understand the charyas. Here he is defining Uttam Mahabhagavad. Yes. So, so the Uttam Bhagavats, like Sri Prahlad Maharaj. <laughs> so, Prahlad Maharaj, you all know, most of you know, how Sri Prahlad Maharaj, he saw his worshipable Lord everywhere in everything. Therefore, he was always completely peaceful and satisfied, even in the face of danger and death, as his father was trying to kill him. His father, in so many ways, was trying to destroy his own son, take his life. But Prahlad Maharaj was completely shanta, completely peaceful, because of his knowledge, because of his deep devotion to his Lord and Master, his Ishtadev, Lord Narayan, who he sees in everyone and in everything. So in this way, the highest devotee, 
Actually, he is always situated in that consciousness, in that very high stage of consciousness. But he sometimes comes down to a level in which he discriminates and he sees living beings within this world, how they are not engaged in the eternal service of the Lord. And then he comes down to very uh, madhyam uttam level and he preaches out of compassion for the conditioned souls in this world. So the intermediate, the Madhyam Adhikari Vaishnava, he is uh, given the description here, uh, Havi Rishi is describing, that you can recognize the symptoms of a Madhyam Adhikari by the way that he deals with four different categories. Ishure Tada Dineshu, Bali Sheshu Sucha, Prema Maitri Kripa Peksha, uh, yat Karoshi is uh, Madhyama. So Madhyam Adhikari, he sees Ishwara. Ishwara means the su Supreme Personality of Godhead. He recognizes his worshipable Lord. And toward his worshipable Lord, he has pure love and devotion. Prema. Although the word Prema is used here, of course the Madhyam Adhikari has not yet achieved the stage of Prema. But Prem in a general sense is used here, that he has, he has loving devotion to the Supreme Lord. Ishurayatad Adineshu. Then Adineshu means the pure devotees, the devotees of the Lord. Uh, he has Maitri, very great affection and friendship mood toward the devotees of the Lord. He does not have any envy in his heart toward anyone, and he offers his respectful obeisances to all the devotees and makes friendship with them. Prema Maitri Kripa. Then Bali Sheshu. Bali Sheshu means like the innocent, childlike masses of people in this material world who do not have any transcendental knowledge. They cannot even they do not even know that they are eternal souls, that they are not this material body. They are suffering within this world of birth and death repeatedly for millions of lives. So the Madhyam Adhikari has kripa, compassion for them. And therefore he fully absorbs himself day and night in following the instructions of Guru and trying to liberate all of these jiva souls within this world. So that is kripa. And finally, Bali Sheshu Disatsu. Disatsu means those who are atheists, who are actually envious of the Supreme Lord. They deny His existence, uh, or they deny His eternal personal form, like Mayavad. Uh, they say that, you are God, I am God, we are all God. We can merge into His existence and become God. All of these very fallacious theories and uh, tendencies of the conditioned soul to be separate from the Supreme Lord, very atheistic tendencies. So how does the Madhyam Adhikari deal with them? Prema Maitri Kripa Peksha. Apeksha means he neglects them. He does not uh, make the attempt to preach to them. They have no faith, they have no attraction, therefore he stays apart separately from them. But actually it does not mean he is not giving them mercy. He is also trying to correct them by neglecting them. So in this way, a Madhyam Adhikari devotee is understood by these symptoms. Uh, so then the third class devotee is also described, the Kanishta. That the third class devotee uh, is said that he has some kind of shraddha, some kind of faith. Archayam eva haraye pujam yak shraddhaye hate. Natat bhakteshu chanyeshu sa bhakta prakrita smrita. Archayam eva haraye. He has uh, shraddha in worshipping the deity form of the Lord in the temple. He keeps uh, this kind of mood in his heart, he will go to the temple, he will offer obeisances, he will pray to the deity of the Lord, he will become devoted in this uh, area of bhakti. But he does not understand archayam eva hare pujam yakshradhaye hate natad bhakteshu chanyeshu. He has not developed his vision yet 
to be able to see who are the devotees of the, of the Lord, how to honor the bhaktas, how to honor the different levels and different classes of devotees, how to properly worship the, even the Mahabhagavat devotees. He doesn't know how to interact. And also, within the material world, he can become affected. His shraddha is komala. It is uh, soft, uh, pliable. So if he associates with persons who are advocating some other type of philosophy, this ism, that ism, new age isms, uh, then what happens to him? Oh, he starts to believe that. He can deviate very easily from the path of pure bhakti. So the third class devotee is described in this way. And uh, by uh, remaining in the third class position is somewhat dangerous because in that position, not being able to recognize the position of the Vaishnavas, then he can easily commit Vaishnav Aparad. Vaishnav Aparad means offense against the lotus feet of a devotee. And there are different levels of devotees, especially if one commits an offense against the lotus feet of a Uttam Vaishnava, a Mahabhagavat devotee. Oh, then Chaitanya Mahaprabhu has explained, this is the mad elephant offense. Hatimata. Because just like an elephant comes into a garden, uh, if the elephant comes into a garden where there are small little plants and, and trees beginning to grow, oh, it is a very dangerous situation for those plants and trees because the elephant will crush them or uproot them with his trunk if he is a mad elephant. So if one allows this tendency to criticize, to perform Vaishnav Ninda, to... Uh, perform such offenses and blasphemy against devotees of the Lord, even those who are in Madhyam level or even Kanishta level, oh, then there is reaction, very severe reaction. What will happen? Even his duration of life, all of his wealth, his health, all of his good fortune, but especially his bhakti, lata, his creeper of devotion will be severely harmed. So therefore, so many warnings are given there in Shastras. So many descriptions are given of, devote, of persons who have ma made such mistakes before and offended Vaishnavas. Just like, for example, in the Chaitanya Charitamrita, there is the, or Chaitanya Bhagavat, the story of Devananda Pandit is given there. Devananda Pandit was a very great uh, scholar of Srimad Bhagavatam. And... In Navadvip Dham, he had many students, and they were coming to his classes, and he was also reciting Srimad Bhagavatam, 10th Canto, and he was telling uh, so many shlokas that were describing the beauty and pastimes of Krishna. And by and by, as he was uh, sitting with this assembly, the great, great pure devotee of Chaitanya Mahaprabhu, Sri Srivas Thakur, uh, came into that assembly. And when he came into the assembly, oh, he sat down very inconspicuously in the rear of the assembly and he was hearing. But because he's a Maha Maha Bhagavat, topmost, actually he's incarnation of Narada Muni in Chaitanya Leela. So Sri Sri Srivas Thakur was hearing these verses and because of his great level of pure devotion and praying, oh, he became overwhelmed. He went very deep into devotional trance, and so many ecstatic symptoms came in his body, tears and trembling uh, and crying like this, but the students of Devananda Pandit, they saw him and they thought, who? Who is this person? Who? Oh, he's disturbing our assembly? Oh, we must remove him. Uh, we should uh, remove him from the assembly so that our, our teacher will not be disturbed in his discourses. So they took Srivas Thakur, who was not even aware, he was oblivious to his external surroundings, and they picked him up and placed him outside of the assembly. Very, very great offense. But Devananda Pandit, who was reciting Srimad Bhagavatam, he did not stop the students from doing this. And uh, because of this, later on, Chaitanya Mahaprabhu completely rejected Devananda Pandit. And he fell into a very, very miserable condition. And he was completely devoid of all happiness. All of his good fortune in life diminished. And finally, by the uh, help of another great devotee, of Chaitanya Mahaprabhu, uh, Miniketana? Now, Varkeshwara Pandit, 
he helped Devananda Pandit to understand what offense he had committed. And some years later, after Chaitanya Mahaprabhu had taken sannyas and again returned to Nabadweep Dam one final time, then Chaitanya Mahaprabhu was in the assembly of millions and millions of people who came to see him. And in that assembly, there were so many persons who were previously offensive toward Mahaprabhu. And here now they were begging for forgiveness and Mahaprabhu was forgiving all of their offenses. Devananda Pandit was there and when he came to Chaitanya Mahaprabhu, he said, I will forgive you if you bow at the lotus feet of Srivas Thakur and beg forgiveness from him. And therefore, Devananda Pandit went and fell at the feet of Shivas Thakur. But of course, Shivas Thakur, being a pure Mahabhagwa, he doesn't accept any offense. He never considers that anyone has offended him. This is their nature, that they are just as humble as a blade of grass, more tolerant than a tree. They are the personification of humility. But yet, Devananda Pandit begged him, and Shivas Thakur embraced him, and then Chaitanya Mahaprabhu accepted him. Don't go beyond the subject, <laughs> otherwise so many things to speak. More slopes. More slopes. Okay. So, in this way, Indriya Prana Mano Dhyan, Jo, So, in, after describing these three different categories of Vaishnavas, now Havi Rishi begins to explain more about how the Vaishnava lives, what are his symptoms. He says, even while engaging his senses in contact with their objects, one who sees this whole world as the energy of Lord Vishnu is neither repelled nor elated. He is indeed the greatest amongst the devotees. Dehendriya prana mano diyam yo jan mapya yakshud bhaya tarsha kritchai samsara dharmair avimukya mana smritya harer bhagavata pradana. Within the material world, one's material body is always subject to birth and to decay. Similarly, the life airs, the prana within one's body, becomes harassed by hunger and thirst. But the mind is always very anxious, full of anxiety. The intelligence hankers for that which cannot be obtained. And all of the senses are ultimately exhausted by the constant struggle in this material nature. But a person who is not bewildered by the inevitable miseries in this material world, material existence, and who remains aloof from them simply by remembering the lotus feet, of the Supreme Personality of Godhead, he is to be considered Bhagavat Pradhan, the foremost devotee of the Lord. So a pure devotee of the Lord is never irritated or agitated by any circumstances within this world. Even a devotee who has come to the stage of Uttam Adhikari and reached Bhav Avasta, he has nine symptoms that are visible with him. Kshantir, Vyarta, Kalatvam, Viraktir, Mana, Shunyata. Kshantir, he's always... Explain other Okay. He is always very tolerant of every situation. Nakama, Karma, Vijanam, Yasya, Chaitasi, Sambhava. Vasudevaika Nilaya Savai Bhagavadottama. One who has taken exclusive shelter of the Supreme Lord Vasudev, Vasudev becomes free from all fruit of activities, from all karmas, which are based on material lust. Uh, kama karma bijana, based upon the seed of material desires within this world. So someone who has taken exclusive shelter of the lotus feet of the Lord, all these bijas, all these seeds of desire, material desire to perform even sinful or pious activities, they become completely destroyed. In fact, one who has taken shelter of the lotus feet of the Lord is freed from even the desire to enjoy material sense gratification. Plans for enjoying 
Sex life, social prestige, and money they cannot develop within his mind. And thus, he is considered Bhagavat Uttama, a pure devotee of the Lord on the highest platform. Then, Nayasya Janma Karma Bhyam Navar Varnashrama Jati Bhi Sajjate Smin Aham Bhavo Dehe Vaisa Hare Priya Birth in an aristocratic family and the execution of austere and pious activities, they certainly cause a person to take pride in himself. And similarly, if one enjoys a prestigious position within society, because his parents are highly respected members of the Varnashram social system, then one becomes even more infatuated with himself. But if, despite these excellent material qualifications, one does not feel even a tinge of pride within himself. He is to be considered the dearmost servitor of the Supreme Personality of Godhead. When a devotee gives up the selfish conception by which he thinks, this is my property, and that is his property. When he gives up this selfish, selfish conception, and when he is no longer concerned with the pleasures of his own material body, or he is indifferent to the discomforts of others, then he becomes fully peaceful and satisfied. He considers himself simply one among all the living beings which are equally part and parcel of the Supreme Personality of Godhead. So such a satisfied Vaishnava is considered to be at the highest standard of pure devotion. Nachalati Bhagavati Padar Vindal Lava Nimishardham Apiya Savaishnava Griya. The lotus feet of the Supreme Personality of Godhead are sought even by the greatest of demigods, such as Lord Brahma and Lord Shiva, who have all accepted the Supreme Personality of Godhead as their life and soul. <clears throat> A pure devotee of the Lord can never forget those lotus feet in any circumstance. He will not give up his shelter at the lotus feet of the Lord for a single moment. Indeed, not even for half a moment. Even in exchange for the benediction of ruling and enjoying the opulence of the entire universe, such a devotee of the Lord, he is to be considered the best among the Vaishnavas. Bhagavata Uru Vikraman Grisaka Nakamani Chandrikaya Nirastatape Hridikatam Upashidatam Punasa Prabhavati Chandra Ivoditeir Katapa How can the fire of material suffering continue to burn the hearts of those who worship the Supreme Lord? The Lord's lotus feet have performed innumerable heroic deeds and the beautiful nails on his lotus feet resemble valuable jewels. The effulgence emanating from those nails resembles cooling moonshine, for it instantly relieves the suffering within the heart of a pure devotee, just as the appearance of the moon's cooling light relieves the burning heat of the sun. Visrijati hridayam na yasya sakshad, darir avasabhi hito pyago ganasha, pranaya rasanaya dritangri padma, sabhavati bhagavata pradana ukta. The Supreme Personality of Godhead is so kind to the conditioned souls that if they call him by speaking his holy name, even unintentionally, or unwillingly, they call him by speaking his holy name, then the Lord 
is inclined to destroy innumerable sinful reactions in their hearts. Therefore, when a devotee who has taken shelter of the Lord's lotus feet chants the holy name of Krishna with genuine love, then the Supreme Personality of Godhead can never give up the heart of such a devotee. One who has thus captured the Supreme Lord within his heart is to be known as Bhagavat Pradhan, the most exalted devotee of the Lord. If anyone is telling that I am Mahabhagavat, you should not have trust that he is Mahabhagavat. You should know all the symptoms of Mahabhagavat. If the symptoms are not there, only he is speaking so much and he has remembered all the whole day stroke of Bhagavat, Upanishad, Gita, everything. But yet he is not Uttam Bhagavat. Perhaps he is not even Kanishta Dikari. So we should be careful from them. If a person by this way serve Krishna and Guru Dev, then any kind of worldly desire will not come. Surely. Even he will not think that this is mine, this is her. Everything. He is some darshi, equal to all. And then Krishna comes in their heart by their high class of love and affection. They bind Krishna that you cannot go from our heart and he is captured there. So always you should try to be like that and to... <coughs> but... This is the door to 10th canto. Why is it after 10th canto? <laughs> oh. <laughs> you should know what is Krishna pain? And how Brajabasi love Krishna. So you should know your highest goal. Without knowing goal, you cannot practice. So first we should know our goal of life, goal of our sadhan bhajan, and then how to achieve all oh, this eleven kind. One good question. जय जय राधा रमना हरि बो पचहरे मना कबे श्री चैतन्य मोरे यंग कले रूपा सभी बंद One that I know गोरंग बोली ते हमे so many songs. <laughs> ah, can you... Young Kali Rupa? Okay, I can try. I'll try. What page? Huh? Thank you. First time. Jaya Jaya Sunda.
Hare Krishna. Thank you all so much for coming. Uh, beginning tomorrow, we'll have some drama plays. But for tonight, the class is finished. We want to make a few short announcements. Uh, one, uh, we, we have a very good relation with the local community here in Badger. And we're a little concerned. We've heard many reports of devotees you know, who have come from out of this area. They don't know the road so well. And there's, they're driving very fast. They're on the wrong side of the road. And it's very dangerous you know, for our relation and especially for uh, the devotees and any other drivers. So please uh, respect the uh, driving etiquette in Badger, which is to go a little bit slow and keep to your side of the road, especially there are many uh, blind corners. Oh, you can wave too. Hare Krishna. Also, uh, 